Welcome to this video about how to get started with Click Embed and OAuth 2 machine to machine impersonation in five minutes. This video will cover two different approaches on how to get started, and let's start with the prerequisites. So, for the first, um, actually, for both, both uh, scenarios, you need to have a click, an active Click Cloud tenant running. You need to have no, and you need to have Node.js installed. For the first scenario, you also need to have VS Code installed. Whereas in the second um, approach, you can you can actually just do it in a, any other um, editor and use a command line as well. For the first approach, you need to have a OAuth client for your um, um, in, related to your your Click. Uh, license file. Um, you can go into the the web page called MyClick to find that, and it's actually um, described in more detail on the URL you can see in the bottom here. This approach is also used when you use when you are having a license file with multiple tenants in it, and you want to spin up uh, new tenants. For example, for uh, OEM scenarios where you have one tenant per customer, and you want to spin those tenant up, uh, kind of in a uh, in a you know customer provisioning uh, phase. Um, that's exactly where where these credentials are used. The alternative approach to using this uh, this OAuth client ID and client secret is to use a developer key. The difference between a developer key and an OAuth client uh, ID and client secret is that the developer key will only work with one tenant. So if you have to communicate with two different tenants, you need a developer key for both tenants and so forth, where the OAuth can actually communicate for with all your tenants in um, the entire environment under that same license. Again, there is a page on click.dev which tells you how to uh, create a dev key, a dev key, developer key. If you want to, if you if you want to use that um, approach, both uh, the developer key and the OAuth client ID and client secret will take you less than five minutes to create. So let's try to dive in to the first uh, to the first approach. So let me open here my Node.js. The first thing you have to do is to go into your extensions here. So you click on the extensions icon to the left, search for click, and under there you find a cloud, click cloud machine to machine impersonation um, extension. I have already installed it, but if, if, if it's not installed, you have like an install button here or here, and you can install it and you got it down in like 20 seconds or so. Okay, I'll jump back to the interface here. So. Here you have to open a folder. In my case, I already have a folder open. If if you don't do that, then the um, extension will actually come up with an with an error message. Then I go to View Command Palette, and then I search for M2M. And there you find setup click M2M impersonation. The first input variable. Uh, it asks for is the uh, tenant URL, right? So you will just put that in here and hit enter. Then it asks if you want to use the developer key or the OAuth credentials. In my case, I will use OAuth credentials. There you go. So that's the um, the parameters needed to, to get started. And now it actually starts to set up the uh, machine-to-machine -machine authentication, and also uh, installing some files here, which can actually run the web files by the end. You can see it run npm install. So while that is running, we can go back to the Click Cloud tenant. And if we go into uh, the management console right here, you can see under OAuth, we have created a new um, OAuth client. Uh, and, and actually, we have another video which explains how to do that and set that up. But it's created with the right parameters. It returns a client ID, and the API calls also had the client secret. So, so it's ready to be used in the Node.js project. And we have changed the content method, method to trust it, right? Um, on top of that, a new space has been created. So if I go to catalog right there, I go to spaces. Well, maybe I need to refresh. 
there we go, I go spaces, click demo space, I click there, and you can see a new app has been uploaded to the space as well. And if we look at the members of the space, we can see that the security has been set to everyone who got access to the tenant can actually see the space. All right, let's go back to uh, Visual Studio Code. We can see uh, npm install is done. And uh, then we're doing like an npm start run. And now it's running on localhost 3000. So if I click on 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 this we can go back to the browser and we have a simulated login page this page is actually just a simulated login page which could be the login page of your extranet or customer portal uh, so you just have to put in an email address and any password we're not checking for anything because that will um that's actually done by your normal login framework so to speak if we click login here we go come into the portal and here we can see how we now uh, we are now connected directly with the um, with the underlying click uh, click app in uh, in Click Cloud, and for the first menu item here, for example, we are loading all the sheets in the app and actually fill in a drop down with it, so we can use the real estate a little bit more effective here, and you can change uh, between the different sheets. Uh, in, in the UI here by using the drop down. If we go back to the node.js uh, project, you will see that how to implement this, you will find that the home.html page is where all the different um, UI elements are placed. So you will actually find here that if we go, uh, Right here, for example, that's a classic chart, and then an object ID for a chart. Here's a class analytics sheet and the sheet ID for that, right? So this is how to, to implement it. Actually, if you want to bring and build up with, with uh, you know your own code, you can take this as a starting point, and then you can start um, doing you know whatever you like to make your own design and your own UI on it. Uh, but you can also, if you go in here and start typing Q, then you have like different uh, code snippets. So if you want, an, uh, let's say, an analytics chart, you can select the first one, and it will actually paste in the code snippet, so you only have to fill in the minimum amount of, of, of values to, to get the chart shown. Then what it did behind the scenes as well is that it it uh, actually took my um, click, click cloud tenant and put it in there. The client ID came in there and the client secret as well, which was the return from from when we created the OAuth client in um, in the uh, management console. And then it took the app ID, which we, we uploaded the app into the space. We got the uh, app ID as a return. Uh, in the response and then we put that in here as well so these are some of the things we need to do manually in the other approach um, so I'll just copy them so we so we have them all right good so let me just um, close this one down actually what I will do I will terminate the job and I will close it down and hopefully if we refresh here we will see that we got nothing now that's good that's good. So now the different uh, approach or the other approach you can you can use is um, let me just find the page here is download this Git repository from this URL here, right? So then you can configure the values yourself. What you have to make to make sure here in this approach, um, you don't need the developer key or the OAuth for for the license to uh, uh, to kind of spin it up. But you need to go in to your to your cloud tenant, and you need to create a space yourself. You need to upload an app yourself, and make sure that you um, you put the app ID somewhere in in the clipboard so you can copy it, copy it in later on. Um, also, you need to make sure that you go into the management console, go into OAuth, create an OAuth uh, client like i'll just do it fast because we have another video showing that right so we'll just go in here and create it and then have the allowed origins which is localhost 3000 
Watson, which would be your main URL, of course, if you implement it in um, in real life. And then you check those two boxes. And when you say create, you got your client ID and client secret, which are the one you need to paste in later on. However, we will just use the 9A77 we used in the in the other uh, test because we know that. Uh, um, but that will work as well. When this is done, remember to go in and change the um, a constant method to trust it. Right? Okay, that's ready now. Let me uh, let me just uh, find my command prompt here. I have already downloaded the um, the Git repo. So the only thing I need to do here is actually to go into that uh, repo and. So what you need to do here, you need to, to find your uh, click cloud tenant. And put it in here. You need to take the client ID, replace the demo value there, and take the client secret, paste it in there. And the last thing is the app ID. needs to be pasted in there. All right, there we go. So now it's saved. The only two remaining things we need to do is npm install. That will install all the npm packages. Actually, I did run this before the demo, so it will not take too long. And then we can go npm start and run the project, right? So now we should see if I go to localhost. Go up here, we have an identical page. Now I can take a new user and do a like login. And then again, we can see the same thing as we saw earlier. So these are the two different approaches. Either use the Visual Studio Code extension or actually download the, uh, um, the repository from GitHub and just configure the values yourself to get started it to get started with, with click embed. The next step will typically be to upload your own app or create your own ClickSets app, get your data in there, and then start replacing the um, the app uh, the app ID, of course, in the config file, and the visualizations here with the visualizations from your own app, and then you're actually uh, already started to, to, you have already started to build um, an integration to whatever website you want to end up with um, with Click Embed. So I hope you enjoyed this video about uh, how to get started with Click Embed and machine-to-machine -machine authentication. And uh, I can recommend you to get more inspiration on the website click.dev and also on the other videos we have done on uh, Click Embed and uh, M2M authentication. Thanks for watching and have a good day.